Hi again, that Paul guy here. Uh, as some of you may know, I've been uh, exporting some of the files that I've been trying to, to learn in Java and some of the things I've been trying to do. I've uh, been trying to export it from NetBeans into Eclipse uh, where I found that most people tend to, they like Eclipse much, much better. So I figured I would go ahead and make the switch while I'm trying to learn so it might be a little bit easier down the road. Uh, what I've found is it's not that easy trying to get files from one to the other, especially when you've been trying to work on quite a few, and you'd really like to keep trying to work on those. So, But I have figured out how to do it, and today that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how. So one of the first things, I've, uh, you can see I've got a project working in NetBeans here that I've run a couple times to make sure it absolutely does run. And there is no such thing in Eclipse as this, obviously, because I want to import it over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start a new project, a new Java project, and we're going to call it Vehicles, right, because I might as well. The other one was called Vehicles over in NetBeans, so let's go ahead and switch it over and then let it do its thing here. So I've opened up a project, and it has a source file, which of course is bone dry. It's empty. But what I have also done is I have located the files where both of these exist. So Eclipse is in Eclipse-Workspace. Now more than likely you're going to find that under users, your name, or whoever's name set up the uh, computer, whoever's name is on the computer or might have set up the program in the first place, and that would be Eclipse-Workspace. You might have to go back to the C drive itself or this PC and search to find Eclipse-Workspace, but you will be able to find it in the files that are already there. There might not be any files, but you should at least have metadata, metadata and recommenders. So you, now that you've set up and created that Java project, it's right there, and we're going to open up the source folder. Likewise, over in NetBeans, we go to Documents, and you should be able to see this NetBeans Projects, and then Vehicles, which is the one that we're exporting over, we're going to open up its source file, SRC file, and we're simply going to copy it and paste it over. Now, it almost, sounds almost too good to be true, but guess what? It actually does work like this. So now you see there's an arrow next to it, which means we can go ahead and explore, and sure enough, it's there. So if we go ahead and open these, we can in turn try to run it, and we get the same exact thing that we got over in NetBeans. So it did, in fact, work for us. So uh, once again, the, the easiest thing to do, you're going to have to find both those files. And like I said, in Eclipse, it should be Eclipse-Workspace. You open it down to the SRC file in both of them. You're going to copy it from NetBeans into what should now be created under Eclipse if you opened up a Java project, which is simple as going to File and then New, Java Project. And then when that comes in, You'll end up pop populating your, your source file here, and then you'll be able to run your code. So hopefully that's not too complicated. I apologize if it is, but it should be pretty pretty straightforward, pretty cut and dry. If, uh, if I helped you, great. If, I'm, if I didn't, please let me know. So if I can't figure out how to help you, then we can find somebody that will or can. And uh, it, you know, as always, folks, if, if, it, if it helped you out or if it gave you, you know, you're welcome to like or dislike, leave me some comments. Uh, subscribe if you like. It's that red bar down at the bottom. If you want to know what I'm doing in these videos, Clark, doing it for his benefit because he said nobody told him there's a little bell icon down there, which I do in almost every video. Not calling you out or anything, buddy, but I love you to death. Uh, that little bell icon will remind you when there's new videos up. Anyway, uh, uh, this I will continue to do tutorials, especially now that I'm trying to transfer things that I was doing over to things that I'm now going to be doing. And of course, as I learn and figure out new things, we'll keep on doing that too. So uh, obviously, you're going to get to see a couple of face-to-face -face videos uh, at least once a week, maybe even more often than that. So who knows? So until the next time guys thanks a lot appreciate you watching and as always you know take care out there and we'll see you next time